I want people looking at every possible scenario. I want common opponents, yardage totals, results from this year and last year. I want every computer in this building being used so that we can get all of these picks to 16 and 0. We have to be perfect. I've never gotten a playoff pick wrong, and we're sure as heck not going to start this year. Failure is not an option. So, uh, what about all those picks you got wrong last year? Welcome to the PB Game Time Playbook with Matt Porter and Jeff Greer. Ready! West Palm, we have a problem. When will we know? Uh, Jeff, we're shooting. Oh, sorry. Uh, welcome to the playbook. It's a playoff edition, and we've got 16 fantastic games to pick this week. He's in Texas. Ah, oh, well, Matt is still in Texas, as I'm apparently told, celebrating his engagement. That's big news, but right here we've got football games to pick, and I bet you he's doing some research back there. Three games behind me in our picks contest as the postseason starts. Anyway, first up we've got Park Vista at Seminole Ridge. It's a rematch of a game earlier this season when Park Vista went to Loxahatchee and won 21-7 in Seminole Ridge's season opener, which was of course delayed a week by Hurricane Isaac. That game was real sloppy, but I don't think we're going to see that this time. Seminole Ridge has won six games in a row and is in a lot more of a rhythm here late in the season. It's been a fun, fun run for Park Vista, but that defensive line concerns me. They got bowled over against Palm Beach Central a few weeks ago, lost that game 45 to seven. Now, I don't think this game's gonna be a blowout, but I do think that Ridge's size in the trenches is gonna be the difference. So I'll take Seminole Ridge at home, 21-14. We've got another rematch in Class 8A of a game that happened earlier this season. It's Palm Beach Gardens at Palm Beach Central. Gardens won the first meeting 10 to six, but just like that Ridge Vista game, it was a long time ago. These are very different teams now. Central has really gotten into a flow. Gardens has kind of been a little bit different than it was to start the season. The big question is how healthy is Gardens defensive line? Defensive end Daquan DePolo gave Palm Beach Central nightmares when Gardens won that game earlier this season. Only 10 to six, it was a low scoring game. Central only mustered up 103 rushing yards. I don't see that happening again. Central has looked fantastic running the football late in the season. So I'm gonna take Central with a little bit of caution here, 28-21 at home. Now those are the only two playoff games around here that have local teams playing local teams. But I will tell you this much, I like Dwyer and I like Atlantic against very difficult Broward County opponents. I also like Fort Pierce Central in 7A. I really, really, really like American Heritage in 3A, Glades Day in 2A, and, and, don't worry Raiders fans, I do expect Glade Central to win its first round playoff game against Rockledge. That's it, that's the end of the Jeff Greer Show premiere. I, I'm sorry, we're closing the playbook. As always, check pbgametime.com after the games on Friday night and throughout the week for wall-to-wall -wall playoff coverage. And remember, follow us on Twitter or find us on Facebook by searching PB Game Time. See you later everybody. Now that this season has gone along, nope, three, two, one. And boys, it's been a lot, what did I just say boys? Okay, three, two, one.